What's going on guys? Welcome to the next freaking day's video. So I put my wheels on just because I'm impatient and I just wanted to see it. Um, so you guys are going to get a little preview of that. But today what we're going to be doing is I have, what was it? There's, there's two drips on the car. There's two, there's two or three drips on the car I have to sand, which is one here and one here. And there's one like under the headlight. There's actually three. But um, basically, I bought this paint and I was like, all right, well, even if I don't like it as a single stage, I have clear up there somewhere. There's, there's clear up there. But I have clear anyway. I was ready to use it and I was like, fuck it. I like the color regardless. Um, I'm just not going to know if I like it as a single stage. Like, I don't like the shine of it. Which could be maybe not the paint's fault. It could just be the fact that I bought a medium reducer instead of a slow reducer. So it didn't, like it just, it dry, basically dried too quick. So like, say I did the roof, which is what happened. I did the roof and then I did like the column or the trunk. The overspray from this would get over there and make it dull. So what I'm going to be doing, what me and Kelly are actually going to be doing is wet sanding the whole car. Um, not too much, just a little bit, just to kind of scuff it up you know wet sand with five five hundred grit um mainly i'm worried about the drips and these little freaking watermarks and what i did yesterday to to stop that from happening was this so i'm gonna get a new piece of cloth and tape because this is soaked yeah so i had the the water separator in it and everything but it didn't stop everything so I just, uh, I want to open the door and give you guys, like, a, a good look. I want to get a good look at it, honestly, because I haven't seen it in actual sunlight yet, even though it's not that shiny. I can't even, like, <laughs> it, I can't even see it in the sun. It's, like, it's still dark to me. Whatever. Whatever. It's all good. Well, I'm going to start wet sanding. Wait for Cali to get here, continue wet sanding, and yeah. I just tested, I just dumped some of the clear out onto, uh, all right, so that's good. Onto the paint that fell onto this yesterday and it's not pulling any of it, so looks like we're good to spray. Keep forgetting to film, but uh, almost done wet sanding the car. I have to do the rest of this door, this side skirt, this pillar right here, Callie's gonna take care of the like little drip parts while I um, tape the rest of the car off. We'll tape the car off in, in general. I did test out the clear right here and it doesn't seem to be reacting yet. So, yeah, I don't know. So, that's the last of the paint. I'm gonna try to go as much as I can over the car just to kind of dust it and make the flake even. Mm -hmm. Keep coming out of it and the fucking skirt. Mm-hmm. That's not gonna look any better. Sorry. Oh my god. This is why I returned. Oh my god. So bad news. The skirt. The gun was clogged, and uh, it was spraying out a good amount, and then boom, it sprayed out the right amount and a, a bunch of chunks. So I'm going to have to redo the skirts, so that sucks, but I mean, at least it's just that. As for this, so right here, that's the clear. Like, I went over this with clear. The earth is clear over enamel, no problem. But, over the hood... You can kind of see the texture. I don't know. I don't know why, in God's name, the enamel would react with the enamel. Hey, Callie, your paint. I mean, your your reflection. Go back this way. Just walk back across the screen. Your reflection looks pretty good in the top of my car. Just don't go anywhere else. You see my two nostrils. Thing that merged. Wait. Yeah, so 
This car does well. It's not the car. This Looks like paint, a reptilian. Yeah. So for some reason the paint bit, but only in some spots. And I was thinking for a second maybe it was in spots that I primered, like with spray paint primer. But all of the spots I primer with spray paint pi primer, like not not even, cause like, all right, look at the quarter panel. This is this this is all I'm showing the quarter panel and I already That's showed the. That's all you're showing. Yeah, I, I mean I'll show the I'll show the good parts, but I'm just too upset. Come on, do a walk. All right, so look, do look, 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 roof, right? Pretty fucking good. Is all of that necessary, Damien? What? All. Of I'm not taking it off the thing. Watch your side screen then. <laughs> My side screen need to be sanded anyway. Oh. All right, so so look, all right, all right, all right. So this is all pretty smooth, right? Like this is all cleared. I gave up, by the way. I stopped. This mirror, pretty damn good, right? That's cleared. Yeah. And then you look at the hood and you're just like, what in the Shrek's veiny asshole is this? You straight up went for the lizard look. Yeah. Snake skin. I'm just, should I just tell people that? Like, like look at the, the front and top. Like, tell people versus... it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate my life. <laughs> um... I'm moving up. I bet I was. I was. I mean, my old pre my, my 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 dude. My old prelude when it was spray painted looked like this, without that. Without that. I swear it was this color though. That's this gross. dead exact color. Why did you want that? I don't know, dude. Fucking Portuguese. Oh the my roof. God. <laughs> Kelly, did you really just handprint the like one of the only good parts of the fucking car? It's whatever. I'm gonna end up sanding it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so look, look at this quarter panel. So like messed up, messed up, messed up, smooth like not smooth, but like it didn't react like up there. It's like smooth. shut up. This isn't smooth. I would I would buff this. This was yeah, what this huh? this was only like one fucking like very thin <laughs> coat. Like so fucked upness. Stop slapping me. Stop, dude. <laughs> then shut up so I can film, Cal! There's someone trying to see next door. All right. Shitty. Good. Same quarter panel, same fucking clear, same spray. And then you come over here. The entire bumper is fire. Not just good, but like perfect. Nothing uh, reacted. I wouldn't say perfect. Yeah, there's some dust in it, Callie. That's far from perfect. Well, this paint location is far from perfect. Stop talking shit with your nose ring. You think you're sassy? Was it sticking out still? Let me see. It. Obviously, it's not now. Yeah. Same thing here. Oh, that scared me. I was like, why does this tape feel? Same like thing that? here. So, look at that paint. Look, bumper. You can see reflection. Like, that's pretty good. Tight. Bumper. Ah! I, know, I didn't do that. I didn't do the trunk because I was just getting upset at everything. That's yeah, not obvious. Piece of shit. What's up? Hey, buddy. Nice car. Yeah, see, it's an STI. Look. STI. He's got it's the sticker. Oh, Sorry, shit. Go the back. All right, I really just am not trying to film anything. Just letting you guys know. So, um, over the next couple days, uh, Here's what I'm doing. I just got the car VIN checked so I can register it. And I've been sanding off this bullshit paint reaction. Even though over here looks really fucking good and I wouldn't even mind it. Like yeah, it has some orange peel but there's clear over this. I could have freaking... Whatever guys, I'm freaking sanding it off. I got, I ordered white epoxy primer, epoxy primer sealer. Um, so I'm going to prime the whole fucking car, I'm going to sand the whole car, prime the whole car, and then paint the whole car. And then now, instead of using an enamel single stage, I bought a urethane single stage. And basically after that, it's like I'm not going to buy paint again because the shit's expensive. And uh, whatever it comes out is how it comes out, and I just hope it's good. So I'm just going to go ahead and sand this, and I'll uh, give you guys a quick shot afterwards. And then we'll probably transition into another day. So... All right, check this out. Every area, and yes, it does pain me to see this as long as much as it probably pains some of you guys, not everyone. Yeah, that's my Subaru plate. Deal with it. Like I had to go get a VIN check. Um, 
every area that's sanded is where it reacted and where it, besides the hood, the whole hood is fucked. But where it's not sanded, it didn't react. All of that bottom piece, all of that door, quarter panel, the whole bumper and lip, I don't even want to repaint. Like that's all cleared and everything. None of that, like nothing happened to the bumper at all. All right guys, so I got my mixing cup and I got some epoxy primer. Now this stuff just mixes one to one, primer, sealer, whatever, epoxy primer, hardener, whatever. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this stuff, maybe, I don't know, just a little, just a very little bit because I have to do the whole car is a half gallon. So I only need enough to do the side skirts and it's just one coat, so yeah. Let's do that. All right, so here we are again. Same color paint. It's a gorgeous color paint. But uh, actually this is a lot easier to stir than the last stuff that I had. So maybe it's a little different. Obviously, I mean, this one's, this one's a urethane. So if I can use the urethane clear over this at any point. I'm not going to be doing it now, but I can do it at any point, which I probably will end up doing eventually. But, uh, yeah, so, seems like the primer or sealer stuff took pretty well, so we're going to try spraying this over it. Now that it's tacked, I cleaned the gun out. Uh, yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. There we go, four to one. So hopefully... This all goes as planned, and it sprays well, and it's shiny, and I have minimal orange peel because single stage metallic is the hardest paint to spray other than candy. Look that up. Didn't know that. Wish I did. Wouldn't really matter because I'd still want it. Alright, spray time. All right, so, so far, no reactions. Um, looking a lot better than it did, so happy with that. Let it harden, flatten out a little bit more. Yes, it's a single stage metallic with a Harbor Freight gun, so probably gonna have some orange peel, that's fine. Like I said, I could always clear it. But as for, uh, you know, color wise, Pretty damn nice. I know the camera doesn't pick it up that well, but pretty nice, pretty even. Actually, there's a lot of the orange peel left this side. This side might just be drier than the other side, but looking pretty damn good. As you can see right here, like watch the light. There's significantly less orange peel on this side. I think it's just because this, this side sat longer. But that's good enough for me, I think. Um, yeah, so I might have actually corrected my mistake. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Be prime, prime sealing the whole car. Oh, good thing I freaking closed this off, huh? So it's epoxy primer, sealer, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's a bunch of different things. Half gallon kit, gonna sand the whole car down. Um, yeah. So hopefully, tomorrow we get it registered, and Friday I get it sanded down, Saturday I get it painted. I'm, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, la last second update. I haven't posted in like, like this, I was supposed to post the video of me like clearing it like four days ago, and I didn't do it because I was pissed off. But a uh, little update. Me and Don just like decided freaking well actually it was mostly Don. I was just I just kinda like came over here and like sanded like a piece of this and he was like yo I'm gonna help you sand it. So he did obviously all the good parts, like the parts that aren't you know reacted and whatever, just he scuffed with the uh, gray scrot gray scratch gray scotch bright and um 
What'd you do? You did the roof? The roof, the trunk, the wing, uh, some of the rear bumper, uh, your quarter panel. Well, kind some of, like of the quarter, quarter panel. panel. I was, you, the like, and shit, like, I realized that, like, me using the hands, like, just sanding by hand was kind of putting too deep of scratches into it. So this thing, I've just been using this, it's just been, you know, because this oscillates a little bit, so the scratches, you know, it's a little bit more fine. So I'm going to probably go over like it. little circles. Yeah, and that epoxy primer is super thick, so should go over this stuff pretty good. But got the whole hood sanded down and ready to go. Um, yeah. Bumper is, you know, almost done. I got most of the bad shit off of it. Resanded that. What else the hell? I did both quarter panels, fixed a couple things here and there that I didn't see before because it wasn't shiny. Another like week and a half until he showed That's probably two weeks. It's two weeks exactly. It's Wednesday. True. It's yeah, so we leave in two, two weeks, weeks exactly for H2O, so we're cutting it close, but... I'm Reg trying to have my car done like Monday though, not like... Yeah. Like everything done Monday. Yeah, just or just Sunday. ready to come here and paint. But I'm going to actually set up, like, because I bought a bunch of plastic, so I'm actually going to set up a booth this time. Oh, shit. And um, I I had the plastic. I was just, just <laughs> like, okay, it's not that bad in here. I'm just going to spray it. But I'm actually going to set up the booth this time. Like you guys, I already showed you guys the the skirts are good. Um, like I said, this is urethane, and I do have. Uh, probably a little bit more than half of this so that's at least two coats of clear so I could do that if I don't like the shine um, but for the skirts I didn't even I didn't even use the wet look hardener or whatever and that's what really makes it flatten out so well so so I've heard um, so we'll see what the car looks like in just regular single stage and if it needs more shine I have clear urethane clear so yeah, I just figured I'd add this to the end of the video. I have a lot to edit because I've been filming sporadically over the course of like four days. And then the clock box blew up, so I was like, okay, at least I could throw that video up. But, no hidden gear is here, guys. You know, the videos of my car, too. Yeah, when we paint it and shit. But, this is the beauty of doing shit by yourself. Beauty and the, the fuckiness. Sometimes you fuck up and it sucks and you have to spend money, but now, you know, I learned a couple of things. I also learned that I was never mixing anything right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we watched a video on mixing and I was like, oh, that's how you do that? So that could explain why some of my paint jobs have come out less than, less than great. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm, I'm more yeah. impressed than anything. I'm surprised because like, Callie's car... Uh, Jonah's car, Orion's car, Don's car, like all those cars, I'm, I've been mixing them that same bullshit not right way the whole time and they haven't like none of those cars came out bad my z came out fucked up because the, the harbor or the the walmart gun was like clogged and uneven and making runs and stuff but i'm i just i couldn't believe that i was like huh well i've showed mixing on a camera no one corrected me on that people correct me on like dumb shit sometimes people who actually do paint will tell me like useful shit but other than that it's just like Yo, uh, orange peel. That's like what, that's like what those guys know. That's like the word that they know. That's the buzzword for when someone paints a car, there's but. There's a run there. Yeah, there's a run. See like, thank, thanks for the insight, guy. I had, I had no idea, but. Yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, I know how to mix now. Uh, I know what reacts and what doesn't. Uh, I still have no idea why the paint reacted because it was just enamel that I sprayed over it. And some parts that I cleared reacted and some didn't like the back bumper and shit like that but anyways the bottom line is the car is pretty much being done sanded i just have to finish up on the bumper uh the doors aren't bad so like any any part of the car that isn't bad i'm not using this i'm gonna just use the scotch right on because i just need the the new paint to stick the primer sealer and yeah i'll probably end up buying a new paint gun as well i don't know maybe I don't know, we'll see, but I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. This is a five minute clip, and I'm probably going to have to put most of this in, so the rest of the video is going to be really fast up until that, this point. See you later.